The setting here is about as rustic as you can get, Siples Watermill in Kemper County. Edward Siepel grinds corn and cornmeal at this water-powered mill that's been said to be the oldest continuously operated business in the state. Generations of Siepels have milled here. But tonight, attention is across the road in a converted country store building. It's Saturday night, and every Saturday night for years, people have been gathering here for the water mill operating. Word spread about the Saturday night get-together, and the room's usually comfortably packed by 7 o'clock when the band starts to play a few gospel tunes. But then after a while, when the mood strikes them, the musical gears shift to good old country music. People in the audience aren't bashful, they do what they came to do, dance. Edward Seipel is the leader of the band, playing music is something he and some of the members used to do, a lot of, a long time ago. But as life changed, they set it aside, only to pick it up again as life rounded another corner, and remembering the old times got important, and so was staying close to home, but still getting out some. We just enjoy it. Everybody else seemed like they enjoyed it, so we... Just fixed this old store up. I didn't, wasn't using it for anything. And uh, everybody chipped in. We moved everything back, redone the floors, and and then it got so big that we had to add 30 feet more on it. So we just got us a good place. All we got to do is open the door and go at it. It's not a rollicking party. It's just a good time. You could bring all the family here. Matter of fact, all the family is here in some cases, and no one will be adversely influenced by anything that goes on here. Church groups have come here. We don't allow alcohol outside nor inside either. No profanity in here, uh, no smoking, no nasty dancing. You just get together, you can bring your kids, you can bring your grandma, who you want to bring. And everybody, we've got people that come that up to the way you got started this, I bet they hadn't been nowhere in 15 or 20 years, old people. And now they never miss a Saturday night. Charles Massey lives in Meridian, but his family is from this part of Kemper County. Charles comes back every Saturday night. And one of his reasons kind of reminds me of Cheers. This is where everybody knows his name. Good friends, I, I, I know everybody up here. Enjoy, just enjoy the music, enjoy the crowd. John Elliott's a little more forthright about his motives. He's a dancer, or at least here's where he's comfortable dancing, the kind of dancing that he dances on a Saturday night. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I sure do. Of course, I might not can dance, though, you know, but I can't dance like any young people do. Yeah. But I get out there and try, though. Sure can. Sure can. There's a little admission charge to come in. Helps to pay the light bill, helps keep the building up. But you can bring food in lieu of cash. Janet Nestor brought a peach cobbler tonight, and she's here just about every week, too. She likes the other people. Everybody in here are people, people. They just love, you know. And uh, every Saturday night, if someone new shows up, yeah. people come from Meridian, they come from Noxipeda, uh, Louisville, uh, Jackson. Busload came from St. Mark's Church a couple of weeks ago. And, and the children play hide and go seek uh, all around the mill. There's no alcohol, no smoking, and lots of food. So if some Saturday night you'd like to drift back to a simpler setting, maybe pretend it's a long time ago, you're invited to the Watermill Opry too, but remember it's rated G because there's every age from kids to grandmas here. Just leave your bottle at the house and come home. <laughs> For a copy of this program, call 601-432-6294 or send a check or money order for $14.95 to Mississippi Public Broadcasting, 3825 Ridgewood Road, Jackson, Mississippi, 39211. Please indicate the name and date of the program.